I was tricked, Paul Tussi explains her controversial trip to Zimbabwe. Paul Tussi recently traveled to Zimbabwe with two other South African celebrities, Sonia Mbeel and Seyo Make Concube. They were invited by the Zimbabwe Tourism Authority ZTA to promote the country's tourism and culture. Pearl said she wanted to show the world how beautiful Zimbabwe is and to experience its magic. She posted several photos and videos of her trip on her social media accounts, where she showcased the scenic landscapes, wildlife, cuisine, and people of Zimbabwe. What was the backlash she faced? However, Pearl's trip was not well received by some of her fans and critics, who accused her of being involved in a political campaign for the ruling party, ZANU-PF. This was because she and her fellow guests were seen wearing scarves with the colors of the Zimbabwean flag, which are also associated with ZANU-PF. They also met with President Emerson Umningagwa at the State House, where they posed for pictures and exchanged pleasantries. Many people on X formerly Twitter, slammed Pearl for endorsing a regime that they claimed was oppressive, corrupt, and violent. They called her a sellout, a traitor, and a puppet. They also questioned her integrity and credibility as a media personality and an activist. How did she respond to the criticism? Pearl Tussi defended herself from the backlash by explaining that she was not aware that she was part of a political campaign. She said she was ambushed into going to the state house and that she did not know the significance of the scarves. She said she only accepted the invitation because she thought it was a tourism campaign and that she wanted to support Zimbabwe's economy and development. She also refused to apologize for her trip, saying that she did not do anything wrong or illegal. She said she was proud to be an African and that she loved Zimbabwe. She said she would not let the negative comments affect her or stop her from traveling to other African countries. She said, The reason I came to Zimbabwe. To show the world how beautiful it is. Come to Zimbabwe and experience its magic. Experience the power in Zimbabwe and spread the word. Thank you so much for the invitation and I can't wait to return and change the narrative of what Africa looks like to the entire world. I'm so proud to be an African. One more African nation ticked off the list. Can't wait to see who's next. Thank you for your incredible hospitality Zimbabwe. She wrote on her Instagram. Leave your comments in the comment video below, don't forget to share with your family and friends.